Hey everybody, this is Shannon Scott out here in Bonaventure Cemetery on a beautiful spring day. And ah. hey, can I say hello? Sure. Hey, who's that over there? Hi. Hey, Hi. what's your name? It's Louie. Hey, Louie. You look like you're having a great time. Awesome. Uh, I've encountered this uh, ultra handsome group of people. No flattery, no flattery. Um, out here in the grave of Conrad Aiken, the great poet and writer as well. Uh, the great painter's grave, Mary Hoover Aiken, his wife of a uh, number of years. But uh, so, everyone, tell me kind of about the gathering a little bit here. Well, I'll I mean, start. Uh, I'm Laura, and this is Lisa. Hey, Laura and Lisa. And we are cousins, and we have parents here, and grandparents, and great grandparents, and great 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 great, and great great great. Wow. And great great great, going wow. back to Noble Jones, who has his own. We're the six six great-granddaughters of Noble Jones, who has his own fence around him right over wow, there. Wow, that's wonderful. I used to be a reenactor out there. Is that right? I was, I was one of Noble Jones's marine boatmen. That's great. Yes. All right, and then I'll take you to Ted Eldridge, who organizes this event. Okay. And he'll tell you more about Ted. why we're here. Oh, it's the ninth annual. <laughs> Congregation to honor Conrad Aiken and to as he and his wife did, have our drinks in little red votive candle holders, became accustomed as the movable feast with Hemingway and, and Maude and the others uh, had set the tradition, and he brought the tradition back, and he and his wife would sit on their grave sites and sure. while away the afternoons and drink their martinis out there. <laughs> so we carry on that tradition. Sure. We decided it would be after a couple years on the Ides of March, in honor of our Canadian friends who come, uh -huh. the Ides, and so we do a reading of Julius Caesar, which we're about to start. Wonderful. And uh, not only honor Conrad Aiken, but Julius Caesar and Shakespeare and wow. the literary world and Canada and families of Savannah who have been here since the founding. Wow. And their relatives who lie all around us. Of course. Now, um, Ted, did you want to mention your your tour company in town, please? I have a walking tour company, A Walk Through Savannah. A Walk Through Savannah. And what's the website? www.awalkthroughsavannah.bravehost.com. Okay, cool. Thank I'll you, put Shannon. the URL on there for sure. And and then can I just get everybody else's names? and, and <coughs> so I'm, me. I'm Doreen Ives. Doreen Ives? Yes. I-D-E, I like the Ides of March. Oh, Ides, okay, yes. Uh, and my husband, where is he? Oh, he's disappeared. Wow. As soon as he saw the camera, he disappeared. <laughs> well, he's always just one step ahead of the law. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure of Shannon's so anyway, credentials. So anyway, Ted started the Julius Caesar readings several years ago because we were here on the Ides of March. Sure. That's how Wonderful. Started. That's great. I love it. I love it. And Mrs. Clay, right? Yeah, I'm Anita Clay. And I have a lot of relatives buried out here. The original Clay came here in 1760. He's James Havison's nephew. Wow. Wow, wow. True Savannian. So related to Anita. Oh my God. And then uh, the professional uh, actor over here. <laughs> Doug Fisher is my name. Yes, sir. I'm uh, Canadian. I'm very happy to enjoy Savannah. Beautiful city. Warm, kind people. Wonderful. Where do you, now, where do you hail from in Canada? I hail from the epicenter of the, the world, Lindsay, Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's good. That's good. And, and you keep everybody uh, jovial. Well, <laughs> until I fall down. <laughs> <laughs> and how about this lovely lady singing next to you? This is my bride. I'm wow. Gail Fisher. Lindsay as well. Cool, cool, cool. Well, welcome. A real pleasure to meet you both. Thanks for letting me uh, share part of your afternoon. And then we have... Lisa Rosetto from the Eastern Shore of Maryland now. Okay. And Lisa, do you, you also have... You're, you're the great... Sixth great granddaughter. Yeah. Noble Jones and James Havisham. But he's seven. not here. He's somewhere else. He's in the Colonial Cemetery. Okay. Did anybody here know Elfrida Duran Barrow? You did? Cousin. Wow, she's 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 become one of my favorite poets. Yeah, I really really love her poetry. 
So, well, thanks for uh, giving me a bit of your afternoon, everybody. Well, nice welcome. to meet everyone. Thank yeah. you. Really lovely, beautiful. Thanks.